I've been reviewing a book every week these last few weeks for you, and I hope you've had a chance to check those out. This week, this is a great little book that uh, I just recently read. It's called Bullseye by Brian Tracy. And it, honestly, it goes back to that idea of, of having a target. I've got a friend uh, on my team who he has a daughter who is, uh, she, she's in uh, into high school archery. And he said he went to uh, the first competition. They have these targets. And I, I didn't know this, but if you hit on the outer ring of the target, uh, it, you actually get points, which you, I didn't know that. I thought you had to hit the middle. And he said, if you hit the next ring in, you get more points, more points, more points, all the way to the end side ring and as we all know the bullseye is a force multiplier you get a whole lot of points if you hit that now as you think about your life i'm guessing your resolutions are probably out the window now it's been a few weeks into the year and the question is do you have goals set aside goals that are that are helping you i, I like brian's subtitle here the power of focus having a bullseye just this power of really uh thinking small they say aim small miss small those who uh, who do shooting or archery, and and I think it's a it's just a really great uh, concept. Uh, Brian says in the book here that we should all make a list of ten goals, and if you'll write those things down, he said you actually have to write them down because if you ask anybody do you have goals, uh, he says they'll they'll all say yeah I have goals I want to be rich I want to be happy I, you know I want to travel, but they really don't have focused goals things that they want to accomplish with a deadline I want to do this by then written down I've got you know, check-ins with myself, accountability going on. And so that's important. So he says that our number one goal should get all of our focus. Now, or not all of our focus, but focus every day, most of our focus. Uh, and unfortunately, we give about 80% of our focus to things that really don't matter as much and very little focus to the things that matter most. So if you could write down 10 goals, I challenge you to do this today. Write down 10 goals, ask yourself, uh, what, what are the things that I really want to accomplish maybe this year? You've got several months left. What are the things you want to get done this year? And then Brian says if you had a magic wand and you could wave it over your list and one of those would be true in the next 24 hours, which one would it be? As you look at your list, it's just a great little thing to do. I, I encourage you to write that down and ask yourself, which one do I want to be true tomorrow if it could be? That becomes your number one priority. It becomes your 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 focus, your your goal. And if you'll put some time every day on that, the power of that kind of focus, it really will help you to achieve the things that you want to achieve in your life and in your leadership. So I hope you'll get a, a copy of Brian's book, Power of Focus. It's really helped me. I'm confident it'll help you.